what's up guys? Tyler here from GarageWarrior.com and I got a killer Garage Warrior community question about how often should I change my routine? All right, and so it's kind of hard for me to say 100% the definitive answer what you should do, but I'll tell you what different types of people should do, okay? So let's take three different types of people. Let's take the hyper-disciplined person will do whatever you tell them to do every single time, no fail, right? Then we have the opposite end of the spectrum, the guy who loses focus after one rep and wants to change his routine every single day, and then somewhere in the middle, okay? So the guy who is hyper-focused, this guy, if you're that person, you wanna to stick to a routine and keep it tight, 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 because guess what? That is what is gonna get you the best results. So keep it tight, and then every three to six weeks, change your routine, but do so in a way that makes sense, okay? So you might change your deadlifts to one-legged deadlifts, or your deadlifts to extended deadlifts, or to swings, and you're still working towards those same goals, because if you're disciplined and you don't get bored, then you can stay on a set of exercises until you bring them to a world-class level, which is gonna give you a world-class body and world-class results, okay? Now, if you're in the middle, and you're like, okay, I can do some things discipline, but sometimes I just need to mix it up and have some fun. What I recommend you do is this. Do about 50% of your workouts, 50 to 66% of your workouts, make them planned, okay? So let's say you do a Monday and a Thursday are your planned workouts. You're gonna work on these specific skills, these specific exercises, and those are the things that you're gonna get freaking strong at, right? You're gonna get amazing at those things. Then, the other two days during the week, you come out there, with an idea of what things that you want to get good at, right? And you train those things, but you do so in a fun way, all right? You do so in a way that you can kind of roll some dice for reps, or you can mix up the exercises and have a good old time. Just enjoy the experience of exercise more like a play, right? More like play-based training. Now, that is how you get best results. If you're someone who cannot focus at all, and you come out in your gym, or your garage, or your, wherever you're working out at, and you have a routine, and every day you plan a new routine, and it's just not working out for you, right? Here's what I recommend. I recommend you pick five or 10 strength exercises that you love, right? Resistance training or body weight progressions that you love, and cycle through those exercises. And the best way to do this is to make a big chart, just in case you get ADD like you always do, and make a big chart and track your best of each one of those exercises. So your best set with weight, your best set with reps, your best single maximum effort, and each time you come through that exercise, try to beat one of those three variables, right? So the most amount of reps you can get in a certain amount of time, the best uh, amount of reps you can get in one set, maybe with a certain amount of weight, and then that top weight, like the best weight you've ever lifted, the highest intensity you've ever done. And every time you come back to that exercise, you try to beat one of those three variables. And so you could pick 10 different exercises. You could do like deadlifts and squats and pull-ups and dips, uh, push-ups, one-arm presses, Turkish get-ups, hanging leg raises, all sorts of different exercises. And each day you come in, you pick one to three of those exercises. Usually one or two. Three might be a little too much. One to three of those exercises, and you try to best one of those scores that you wrote down. And then you do like the other guy, and you do some play-based training. So I generally say one to three strength, uh, resistance training exercises, and then play-based training. So pick three, four exercises, put them in a circuit, do some high intensity work, and call it a day. Just know that when you're not as disciplined as Mr. Number One over here, you won't get as world-class, okay? You have to have that discipline to get world-class at a particular thing. But if all you wanna do is look good naked, be stronger than the rest of the people around you, do impressive stuff with your body, you can absolutely cross-train. You just have to make sure you're consistently making progress on all the exercises. So that's how I would do it with different personality types. In either way, this guy is gonna be changing up his routine all the time, so he doesn't have to worry about changing his routine. This guy might do a plan progression for three to six weeks and then change that up and then do play-based training. And this guy is gonna do something strict for anywhere between three to six weeks, maybe even as long as 12, and then he'll switch it up, keep moving forward on those goals consistently. If you guys dig this video, click the like button right there. Help me spread the word and message so I can teach more people just like you how to work out at home, how to do it right, and how to live the warrior lifestyle. Thanks for watching.